First time I went to Africa was in 2005, and it was an amazing experience. What I really like about Africa is the diversity, the wide open space, the friendliness of the people, and the, and the opportunities that are still before them. There's such a, a dire contrast between living here in the environment that we do in the States and seeing those folks making the best out of what they have. Things you see people putting up something on their head and walking miles to get water, and they do it every day or two. The next time you turn on your water, remind yourself how easy it is to get a glass of it. Once you decide that you'd like to do something in Africa, the, the first question uh, that comes to your mind is, is how? I think a lot of times, maybe like with other organizations, um, you, you know, you're throwing money out there and you really don't know if it's getting to the people that it's intended for. I like global partners for many reasons, but one, they're fiscally responsible. If I say I want to buy a goat for a community, I know that 85 to 90 percent of that money that I donate go towards buying that goat. You can still contribute as much or as little as you want uh, through the choices that they give you. And they um, do a lot with the money that they get. You really can choose where you want your resources to go. Like providing a tractor to a group to farm with. You can be philanthropic for $100 and buy what they call the omelet maker to help a family of probably eight people, well, that's a goat and uh, 12 chickens. If you're interested in medicine, they have projects for medicine. If you're interested in education, they have projects for education. If you're interested in microfinance, they have projects for microfinance. And you know that those projects are gonna get done. It's, it's so different than writing a check and wondering what's gonna happen. You, you go and you see it. They're accountable to us. They know we're coming back. They know Global Partners will return and that they will not get any further donations without some accountability and follow through. The best thing about Global Partners is that I get to go and see what I've contributed to. The first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, it is a reality at last. I saw children all dressed in their, in their uniforms. The children were all singing. There was a lot of dancing going around and there was just genuine happiness that we were there. Where there was just a field of nothing and all of a sudden there are classrooms built for kids who had never gone to school before and never been educated. I saw new teachers that were smiling and proud of what they had accomplished. I saw a beautiful uh, school building with two or three classrooms and I, and I was very moved. It's almost like a miracle. You just this little bit of, of uh, money we gave them has provided such a wonderful thing for, for the, their village. When we pulled up to the dam and the reservoir at the Maasai village, it was a very amazing thing to see. There was an area at the bottom where the cattle were drinking and there was an area up at the top where people were taking water. The villagers were all dressed out in their ceremonial um, outfits and they were dancing and singing and they were happy. I started crying. I could not believe 
we had accomplished that much in two short years. We go every two years and there's a visible change every single time we go. And I, I couldn't even fathom what it meant to the people. I knew that it meant that they were no longer walking for two and three weeks trying to find water for their cattle and their people. Yes, I think the people are grateful. I think that, um, I think that they take some pride in this because they have something involved in it. They've either sold their cattle to make, to, to buy supplies for doing the project, or they, um, they have um, done, you know, physical work to, um, do whatever project it happens to be. Well, I contribute to Global Partners because I believe in order to make a difference, I need to focus my efforts in an area where we have good accountability, where we can sustain projects. Helping the people of East Africa reminds all of us that our problems are so minor compared to their challenges. There is a lot of need in our own country to help children. Here, you probably would take a lot, a lot, very large donation to get the same effect on a child. Where over there, for a minimal amount of money, you can sponsor a, a child through school. I encourage you to become part of Global Partners for Development today and take a trip, see the people, meet the children, see the animals and see this incredible place. I found that I could have a remarkable impact on the everyday lives of people. And that feeling is one that you seldom get in philanthropy. I want you to have that feeling. I want you to go there. I want you to see the people. I want you to see your dollars in action. Well, you know, we've, we've only got a short time on this planet and uh, if you really want to make a, a difference in someone's life, Global Partners is the one to, to, to operate through. When you say, say thank you, uh, tears come through my eyes because it's a very difficult thing to say when I want to say it in real. Um, if I look back to my people who had no water, um, some years ago, and today they have water. I know the individuals who have helped us. I know global partners have come to our rescue. Behind them, there is a secretariat of people. Happily to thank everybody from this particular organization, Global Partners, who have been supporting us. For us, we have had a whole range of good projects which have been successful, decided by us, supported by them.